he is close to the site now, right now, for many people. I mean, I believe that Romero does not need to be canonized, but we need him to be canonized for the own growth of our faith and more than anything for the hope that they represent for the marginalized people uh, for whom he served. and was inhabited by the word of God and the world of the poor. And so his whole homiletic style, his preaching, was the kind of osmosis of the word of God into the history of his people. When he said to the soldiers in the ranks that they should not massacre their, their fellow peasants, they should disobey an immoral order, this was a, a great provocation, rather like Jesus turning over the table in the temple, which it was probably led to just prior to the crucifixion brought, brought that on and and Romero ended like Christ it was a public execution when he was saying mass uh, on Monday the 24th of March 1980 as he concluded the homily uh, in that mass a gunman uh, of a death squad uh, from the door of the chapel uh, shot a single bullet that went pierced his, his body just above the heart connections between the life of Jesus and the life of Romero. What informed both of those men? I, I believe that it is they knew God. They Not just about God, but they knew God. And they were so in love with God that they could not say no to whatever God asked of them, to the point of martyrdom. So Jesus holds up for us 2,000 years ago, what Romero holds up for us today, this is what discipleship looks like. I think he found the fortitude to remain there with his people in the face of imminent death, um, in the witness of Jesus and in the power of his own belief. And he was very human. He, he was certainly fearful, but it was a fear that he brought to prayer and he was able to come to peace with that. Romero constantly said, if, I, if I'm killed, if I die, I will resurrect the Salvadorian people. Romero's legacy is that faith today demands that we act uh, in solidarity and in compassion for those who are making this treacherous uh, journey that, that means so much violence, that means so much death. That, that is faith lived, and it needs to be at the center. Uh, and I think that's uh, one of Romero's main contributions.